alone. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. It's time to open our hearts, open our hands, and receive that which the Lord would like to give. And because uh, if we have no hands, we can't receive nothing that he sends. So know, therefore, the truth, one and absolute, is in God alone. For no man or woman, neither anyone, any body of men knows anything of what God alone knows, who is all in all. To, to all people, truth has been revealed according to our capacities to understand and to receive. One truth has many sides, and one person sees only one side, while another sees another side. And some see more than others, according as it has been given unto them. Behold any crystal. This is the uh, crystal prophecy here at this channel. Behold how one crystal, how one light shining through it becomes manifest in twelve faces. Yea, four times twelve. And each face of the crystal reflects uh, a single ray of light. And one person looks at one face and another person, another face, but it is still, no matter what, one crystal, and it's only one light that's shining through the whole thing. So behold, again, it came about when a few men climbs up a mountain and reaches one, one height. One of them says, there is the top of the mountain. Let us reach it. And when they finally reach that height, all of a sudden they see another mountain peak beyond it that they didn't see before. Um, but then, uh, then they see another, and they said, "Well, we can attain that," and so they climb higher. So, so is it with truth. Uh, the Lord, the Lord says, "I am the living truth, and the living way, and the living life of love." He is love. He is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And um, he says, "I have given to all of you the truth of love that He has received from above." And that which is seen and received by one is often, unfortunately, not seen and received by another. Uh, that which appears true to some seems not true unto others. It's where we've been conditioned, and it's it's early childhood tapes that are totally uh, cause us to be wixing up our merds. And um, for all of those who are in the valley never see as those who are standing upon the mountain top but unto each person it is one truth of one mind that sees it during that time until a higher truth finally is being revealed unto that that same person and to the soul who receives a higher light they shall be given even more light and for those who love they shall be given even more love but to those who let their love die even more of their love will be taken from them as they let it go and they count it not worthy to, to stoke those fires into overflowing. So wherefore condemn not others so that none of you will be condemned. The spirit of truth which comes from above shall guide all of us uh, who seeks the Lord's light of love and through all of our wanderings it will point us only towards his truth of love. Even the fiery cloud guided the children of Israel through the wilderness. And so too now does another cloud come forth, the great white cloud of Revelation 14. And upon it, praise God, the Lord stands as her majesty of majesty, sinking his everlasting gospel into this earth to reap it for the harvest of love. The sickle of Christ has come. So be faithful to the light that you have, all people, until the Lord brings a higher light uh, unto you. Therefore, seek ye first the kingdom of love. Seek more of that light, and then you will have it abundantly. And rest not until you find it. For God gives us all truth, and it's as a ladder with many steps. Uh, and it's given us for the salvation and perfection of our souls. And the truth which seems truthful yesterday will not seem truthful today. And uh, we will abandon for the higher truth of the morrow. So we have to press into perfection. I believed all my life that Jesus was Shiloh, uh, Genesis 49, 12, until I finally realized, wait a second, 
he doesn't have eyes red and dull of wine. He wasn't an alcoholic. He made wine out of water, but he wasn't a big uh, wine drinker. And a, there's no place recorded in the Word of God where he was uh, being like a, a partier. <laughs> See, in the uh, in uh, the ancient days, wine was part of uh, every meal. But you know, to be an alcoholic, that's that's an abuse. I've been there. But uh, Christ was not. So we have to abandon what common sense tells us. Truth is truth, wheresoever it be found. So know that whosoever keeps the holy law of love which the Lord has given, the same shall have their soul saved, no matter how differently they may see the truth that uh, he has given them. So many will say unto him, Lord, Lord, uh, we have been zealous for your truth. But he'll say unto them, no. You haven't been, you've only been zealous that others see exactly what you see. And only as you see, if people do not see like you see, you want to call all their truth lies from hell. And you want to ignore them and you want to be unloving to them. Uh, so it's nothing but uh, uh, <laughs> gross darkness of unloving ways uh, where there is no tolerance. Um, I, I find no tolerance in the world of religiosity. Religiosity has become an evil thing on world in this world, but love will set us all free. And the Lord says, and uh, such people of truth will come to see that no other truth aside from the one they claim is, is what they will look at. And uh, they'll spit upon all other truth if they're closed-minded, because even if their truth has been twisted into a bunch of lies, if they want their lies, then God will let everyone have uh, our delusions. Uh, so know that faith without charity is dead, and love is the fulfilling of the law. And if you have no love, you have no true faith. And there is no divine love unless it is unconditional. And so uh, know that within the very moment that Abraham picked up that knife over his son Isaac, within that moment, it committed the Lord in the coming. Otherwise, it only would have proved that man had the capability to love uh, God more than God had the capability to love man if Christ would not have done the same thing for Abraham that Abraham was willing to do for the Lord. And so not only did Christ do it, uh, he allowed himself to be s slain before the foundation of the earth because he has uh, invented time for us, beloved. So praise God. Ask yourself this then. How shall faith and what uh, anyone receives profit anyone who holds it in unrighteousness? If you're condemning me for my faith and you're condemning this one for this one and this one for that one and this one for that, you're just full of condemnation, piss and vinegar. <laughs> Where's the love? There is very little love in uh, this world of religiosity. And for that reason, religiosity shall die and spirituality shall come forth instead. And so know that all those who have love have all things. And without love, there is nothing worthwhile at all. So let every person hold what they see to be truth and love knowing that where love is not, truth is a dead letter and profits absolutely nothing. Thereby abide goodness and truth and beauty. But the, greatness, uh, the, the greatest of all of these is the goodness of love. And if any have hatred, unloving hatred towards anyone, and they harden their hearts to the other creatures of God's hand, how could they ever see truth unto salvation by love if they're full of piss vinegar and, and uh, spiritual racism. I was one of the biggest spiritual bigots and racists walking this planet. Uh, I walked up to a million people strong as um, a, a marketer in department stores for almost 20 years. And if I believed that you were not a Christian uh, like me, I saw a dot or I saw you were dressing this way or that way, uh, I condemned you in my mind. I, I would have just been a hypocrite. I would have smiled at you, thinking, man, you're stupid. You're going to burn in hell forever because you're an idiot. You've heard the truth and you don't believe it. How much love did I have? 
praise the Lord that the Lord has opened my eyes and I am no longer blinded and my heart is no longer hardened toward all of the rest of creation. If you can listen to my channel from now until the cows come home, you will never hear me condemning really many people. And uh, so know that as I have received truth, so have I given the truth that Christ has given to me unto everyone at this station. And I'm doing it out of obedience because no one is watching, no one is paying any attention to what I'm saying. So let all of you now receive truth according to your light and ability to understand what the Lord is saying. And stop persecuting those uh, who receive different in interpretations. For truth is the might of God, and it shall prevail in the end over all errors. But the holy law which the Lord has given of love, it's plain for all, and it's just and it's good. So let all of us observe that for the salvation of our souls. We have to be born again, people. So love from love. Until next time now.